Welcome back everyone. Today's experiment focuses on growing your very own crystals using baking soda. This is a really fun experiment to undertake at home or in your classroom at school. You need some baking soda, about a quarter of a cup or so will do, some hot water from a kettle, two jam jars, and a piece of string about 30 centimeters long with two paper clips tied to each end. And recommended is some food coloring which you can use to make different colored crystals. The first step in this experiment is to fill up a beaker or cup with boiling water. Obviously do so under the supervision and care of a responsible adult, parent, or teacher. Try and fill your cup, your beaker, up to about 500-ish milliliters, like I'm doing here. And then you have to add the baking soda. It's very important that you make a saturated solution. That means you put in as much baking soda as possible until no more will dissolve. At that point, the solution is saturated. So do so little by little at a time and give it a good stir. Baking soda often fizzes, so be a little bit careful as you put it in. Just mix it in as you go. And just repeat as many times as you can. Generally, it'll take about approximately a quarter of a cup in 500 milliliters. So just keep mixing it away. So my solution is getting pretty, pretty close to saturation. I'm noticing less and less dissolves the more I put in. Let's keep adding it till we get leftover baking soda at the bottom. That shows that no more can be dissolved. There we go, I've put in about 10 spoonfuls of baking soda now, and I think my solution is pretty much saturated. I can see there's a little bit left over on the bottom of the beaker, and no more is dissolving. So I think that's about as much baking soda as we can dissolve. The next step is very carefully, you have to pour it into two jars, or beakers, or cups. Remember that the water is hot, so do so again with the help of an adult. Pour in roughly the same quantity in both beakers. So you should end up... Yep, that looks pretty even to me. Now comes the fun part. You can choose the colour of the crystals that you're going to make. If you just use the baking soda solution as it is, like this, the crystals will be white. But if you put in food colouring, you can transform the colour of the two solutions, which will impact the colour of the crystals that you grow. I'm going to add in some red food colouring and some yellow food colouring to make yellow and red crystals. I think I'll put yellow in here. Let's try a little squirt of that. There we go. I'll just give that a quick mix. And in this one, I'm going to put in some red food colouring, see if we can make some nice red crystals. Give that a little mix too. You're then ready to put your two solutions on an even surface where the water will evaporate away. A windowsill is absolutely perfect for this. So place them there. Then add your piece of string with the two paper clips. You can just tie the paper clips to each side. Roughly 30 centimeters or so would be good. Then you have to position the two solutions so that the paper clip weighs down the string. You need the paper clip at the bottom of both jars or beakers, but the string roughly horizontal or dipped a little bit in the middle. You then have to leave the two solutions alone for about a week. Come back every day and see what happens. With luck, you should see crystals starting to grow along the string. Replicate this experiment at home or at your classroom at school and send in photos to showcase how your crystals are growing. Email your photos to classroom at darwin200.com for a chance to win one of three 50 pound Amazon gift voucher prizes. Good luck in growing your crystals and join me in two weeks time to find out the results of my experiment. See you then.